What? It seems like Dan Abramov has joined another company. Is this the end of React? Well, I, yesterday I was browsing Twitter and I, well, X, and I found out that Dan Abramov changed his name to Dan Abramov the Beast Guy Social. So what is this about? Let's check it out. So it looks like he has a new job. He says, "I have a new job. My first day was yesterday, but I felt too stressed to announce." Monday feels like waiting forever. Might as well announce now. I joined Blue Sky as a software engineer. So, Dan Abramov, the inventor of Redux, the guy who's been involved with React for so long and is currently, well, used to be part of the core team at React, has announced that he's leaving his job and he's joined Blue Sky as a software engineer. Now, what is Blue Sky? If you look at the if you look it up, Blue Sky is a social media app that's going to, well, it's planning to take on Twitter or X. The only difference is that Blue Sky allows you to take your user data as wherever you go and the user owns data. And I don't think there's any advertisement in there. So this is all started because, well, it gained a lot of popularity when Elon Musk took over Twitter and changed the way things work there. So now, He's joining this company who's trying to make a competitor app to Twitter and it's more decentralized. So this is a big news for React engineers everywhere. So if you're a software engineer, use React. You might be worried that, you know, this guy who's been so involved in React is leaving. Uh, you might be worried that you, you have to use something else now if React is no longer popular, right? Well, don't be worried. Now, don't worry if you read this thread. It sounds to me like, you know, he, he didn't really mention what's going to happen to, you know, his job at, re, at uh, Facebook and what made up. But currently, you know, he's writing about how interesting this Blue Sky application is actually written in React Native. So I guess they post him because he's, you know, very, very involved with React and that he can help contribute to the app. So keep in mind that Dan Abramov, even though he may, he's super popular, he's not like a rich person. He's still an engineer, and I think he posted his salary a while back. He's not making more than 200 as a base salary. So he's not like someone who's rich, but uh, he's he definitely getting paid well as an engineer on the core React team. So, you know, the reason he's joining Blue Sky is the product itself is interesting to me. Twitter used to be one of my favorite products, but he feels completely about the new direction. So that's why he moved out to, you know, Blue Sky, to another product that he hopes can build out uh, to his liking. So the core team, you know, he, another thing he mentioned is that the core team from Blue Sky, he really, really liked the people. So that's why he took the plunge. Uh, he, he feels like the culture there, it's very reminded him of, you know, early uh, Facebook culture. So he definitely, yeah, definitely wants to, you know, change something. And I don't blame him. If, you want to, if he's been working on React for so long now, and this is a good chance for him, to you know re to go to another company and figure out what he can learn from there so he also talked about what he wants blue sky to become uh here it's like the main reason i joined was because i really like the people i met on the team so it might be a weird thing to say but it feels like they respect posting as a form some on this solution with earlier decentralization attempts but excited to try again we focus on ui so he's going to contribute that and it seems like the community is really really supportive of him changing his direction in his job his career so i'm really happy for him too because i a few times ago i did actually reach out to him on twitter to ask him about you know how things work uh, about a specific question and he was super patient and he actually responded and took the time out of his busy day to respond to my questions so i have nothing but big respect for dan and i wish him the best of luck and if you're worried if you look at the core team page for react dev you see that there are still quite a bit of engineers on the core team, including an engineer at Vercel, who's joined up on the core team of React. So you do have, you know, big heavy hitters still continue to maintain React. And React is an open source code base. So there's going to be a lot of engineers in the community who can help contribute to it. So nothing to worry about. React is not going anywhere. You don't have to learn another framework. React is still going strong. So if that's worry, what you're worried about, do not be worried. There's a ton of smart engineer just as capable as Dan Abramov who are still working on React. So let me know what you think. What do you think about you know Dan leaving so suddenly? What do you think about his new app, uh, Blue Sky? And what do you think about you know the future of React? Are you worried? 
Let me know in the comments below. And that is it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next video.